What's up everyone? Sandra here. Thank you for joining me. So last week I did a video on how I deal with information overload and in that video I mentioned Evernote somewhat. So I thought it'd be a good idea to show you today how I use this awesome tool Evernote and if you haven't joined the bandwagon you should start thinking of doing so because I'm sure you've heard of so many people using this tool for their business and it really is like the total package you can do so many things with this tool you can save website um, URLs on it you can upload photos and documents and there's just a lot of things that can help you staying organized in your business and I just use the basics. I'm really like a journal type of girl. I've always been a journal type of girl. I've always t um, took notes and wrote down resources that I wanted to keep on journals. And it was only recently that I've been kind of transitioning into like these online tools and trying to take advantage of them. So right now I'm just using the basics of Evernote and that is enough for me. So that's what I'm gonna be teaching you today, the basics. So let me go into my computer and show you how I use this tool. Evernote's promise is remember everything, hence their elephant logo. I think that's pretty clever. So the first thing you have to do before you begin using Evernote is to create an account. And they do have an app that you can download on your phone as well. It is all free. You would really have to use up a lot of storage to begin paying for it. And they do have all these extras, but I really think that the free is good. You don't need anything else. So once you sign up for, for an account, you will come to a page that looks similar to this. Now I'm going to go through all these buttons here and explain to you what they are and what they do. We will go into more detailed specifics of it within this video but let's go over each of these buttons so this first button up here is where you create your notebooks this button this plus button is to add a new note here you will be able to search through your notes and notebooks by using the names work chat I never use this shortcuts if you find yourself using a notebook often more than the others and you can create shortcuts here so that you won't have to go through each notebook and notes to find what you need you can just create a shortcut and come to it very easily here you will find all your notes this notebook here you just press on it and you will go to all your notebooks tags are like keywords and I don't use any of that right now I think when you have a lot of notebooks and a lot of notes, then you will have to start using this, but I don't mess with this at the moment. All right, so let me show you how you begin using this. All right, so when you first come here, you want to start creating your notebooks. So you come up here, you press this icon, and you start creating different notebooks. And I suggest you create a notebook for each area of your business that's important to you. I use Evernote like no other. I use it for everything. As you will see, I use it to store my thoughts, ideas, interests, and everything in between. So I suggest you create a notebook for your email list. So if you have any ideas that you would like to implement into your email strategy or any lead magnet ideas or anything, then create a notebook for email list, for blog posts, social media, for expenses, for Kindle, Kindle book ideas, Kindle title ideas, niche ideas, just anything. I'm gonna name this one test just so that I can show you. So I put test, that's what I'm gonna name this notebook. Push create notebook. Then you can begin adding new notes within this notebook. By pressing this plus sign new note and then you can title your notes I'm gonna name this one test again and then they give you all these different options here to add tags so that you can search it by keyword next time change the font to change the size and color bolded italicize it all these different things I just keep it simple I just use this checklist or maybe the bullet list but other than that I just keep it simple you can also link to things and attach files like board documents or anything you'd like and then um, you don't have to save anything you just go back or even just log off or and it'll automatically save automatically sync between all your 
devices, your phone, your PC, and any other devices on which you happen to have Evernote. So I'm just going to go through the different notebooks that I have just to give you an idea of how you can begin using Evernote for your business. So here are the different notebooks I have have a notebook for my blog and within this blog notebook I have three notes so those three notes include blog post ideas plugins and add-ons so anytime I have an idea of what I would like to write a blog post about anytime I hear someone talk about a plugin that's cool or anything that interests me that I would like to add on to my blog because I just started it it's kind of like bare bones right now so I'm going to be building it up little by little and I just like to keep note of anything that I hear is interesting any resources I'm gonna add it here all right, let's look at the other notebooks I have. Books to read. I listen to so many podcasts, watch so many videos, and when someone talks about an interesting book that I would like to read, then I add it here. So when I go to the bookstore or when I'm shopping on Amazon for books, I can just come to this note and pick a book from here that I've already heard from someone that is pretty cool. My email list, in within this email notebook, I have four different notes. I think this is a very, very important one that everyone should keep. The first note I have is copy. Now copy doesn't mean to plagiarize or to steal other people's work. It just means the words they use to express their message. So if something is interesting, cool, or different that I like, I go ahead and I add it here. I have um, my email newsletter ideas, any sort of things that I would like to communicate with my newsletter, with my um, list down the road, I can always come back here for inspiration, ideas, or things that I know are important to send to them. Email swipe file. Anytime I sign up for anybody's newsletter, I pay attention to everything. I pay attention to the thank you letter they have set up. I pay attention to the words they're using. I pay attention to their follow-up emails and I take note of all of that here in this email swipe file. If I find that it's different or if I find that they're doing an awesome job. Lead magnet idea. So when I have a new idea of a lead magnet I like to create, then I add it here. Um, here's the Instagram notebook. I have three notes and those just include my hashtags so that I don't have to write out each single hashtag every time I post something on Instagram. I just simply copy and paste from a note I have within this notebook. I have post ideas anytime I hear something inspirational, motivational that I'd like to post in my Instagram probably not this moment, but some other time when I feel like posting, then here's where I would come. Kindle, I have three notes, probably book ideas and stuff like that. Mastermind sessions, miscellaneous stuff, passion book. This is the book I am working on right now. So I have everything listed, any ideas I like to add to that book and every step I have to take to get me to the published phase. And I work off of this every day personal personal um, notebook where I have my to do's and this is the test one I just created YouTube any YouTube video ideas or anything I come across that I'd like to make a video about I add it here so those are the notebooks I have just so you can kind of sort of get an idea of how you can use this for your business one more thing I will say is that Evernote will work only if you work with it like you can't just download it and not use it or not keep it organized every Sunday I come in here and I delete everything that I need to delete and have it organized for my for my new week so make sure that you're coming in here at least once a week to organize it as well so I hope you found this helpful please like it if you did and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll catch you guys next time